All right, let's take a look at this Hertzsprung-Russell Diagram Explorer that you're going to use for this lab activity. On the right-hand side here, you have the HR diagram, and the X here marks my star, and I can move it anywhere I want on the HR diagram. And next to it, I have the sun for comparison. So there's a size comparison chart here. There's the HR diagram, and then I have a few different options that I can manipulate. So um, a few things we can notice as we explore this HR diagram, I can drag this X around and you can see how I'm, I'm changing a couple different things, right? As I move the cursor left and right, I can look at my horizontal scale and what I'm changing. I'm changing the temperature of the star. And you'll notice that weird thing about HR diagrams, which is that the temperature increases as we go to the left and it decreases as we go to the right. Now we've seen in other places in the class that I could choose a different scale. Um, in particular, we've talked about spectral type. So you could um, instead make an HR diagram using spectral type because that really is just talking about the same thing as temperature. The vertical scale, I can move this thing up and down the star's location on the HR diagram. What I'm changing is the luminosity of the star. If I go higher and higher, I'm getting brighter and brighter, and if I go down, I'm getting fainter and fainter. Now, I can also change those using these cursor property sliders, so I can increase the temperature or decrease the temperature, and I can increase the luminosity or decrease the luminosity. All right, and then the size comparison is showing us, um, so you can see by the equation here, which we haven't really learned about, but you could um, derive the, the radius of the star based on its temperature and its luminosity. So those two things are telling us the, the size. So the lab is going to ask you just some general properties of the HR diagram, like where do we find the hot stars? And where do we find the cool stars? Where do we find the bright stars? Where do we find the faint stars? And I've shown you that. Um, and then it's going to ask you about like uh, different types of stars. So like large blue stars. So if I kind of explore the four corners, you can see here that in the upper right, we have really giant stars that are relatively cool, and therefore they're kind of reddish stars. If I go to the upper left, these again are really giant stars. They're huge, and they are really, really bright, and they are um, bluish, right, because they're super duper hot. If I go to this corner down here, we have these tiny stars. They're super small, and they're not very bright at all, in part because they're so small, but they're very, very hot. And if I go way over here on the bottom right, I have cool, small, um, faint red stars. Okay, so that's kind of like the types of stars we're going to find in different places. And then the lab will ask us to turn on these ISO radial lines, which start on by default here. These green lines are showing the lines where a star is the same size. So if I follow this ISO radial line, this is a line on the HR diagram where a star will be approximately the same size size the whole time. So in this case, this line represents all the stars that would be about the same size as the sun, if I can follow it close enough. And up here are like the things that are a thousand times bigger than the sun. Down here are a hundred times smaller than the sun. So those are the ISO radial lines. All right. And then I can also turn on the luminosity classes. So this is showing here different types of stars again and where they're typically found on the HR diagram. And you're asked a question about the main sequence and what types of stars we see at the top of the main sequence. So you can see these are the types of stars. Now again, you could tell this just by looking at a generic HR diagram that these are gonna be stars that are very luminous. They're gonna be hot because um, they're in this corner of the HR diagram, but we can also tell that it means they're gonna be very large and blue. And if we go to the other corner, we could say that this part of the HR diagram, they're cooler and fainter and redder and smaller. Okay, and then in the middle, that's approximately where our sun is, um, we have things that are sort of intermediate, right? Intermediate brightness, luminosity, and size. So um, again, I hope that was useful. That's especially for those of you who can't make this simulation work on your own, but it's kind of fun to explore uh, for yourself and even kind of see where different stars fall on the HR diagram.